Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. I'm gonna show you all a strange video that was posted a few weeks ago by someone who was watching live news. Without realizing it, suddenly he saw something strange on his TV screen and quickly recorded it with his phone. He recorded something that looked like a humanoid figure walking on the clouds. Check this out. It's truly a bizarre phenomenon. After it was posted on social media, many internet users assumed that those objects were angels, while others said it was just a reflection or shadow from his TV screen. However, if you watch it closely, you can clearly see a human-like figure walking behind the clouds, and slowly but surely, if you pay attention, they seem to be walking above the clouds until finally disappearing. I don't know what's going on here. It's really strange. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. If you haven't heard of the mud flood by now, it's basically the theory that all the big cities around the world were actually found and they were taken by the people who found them. Now, this is the oldest photos of Madagascar that you will ever see. And when you look through these, you're going to see some rather strange stuff that you probably wouldn't expect in place like this. First, you're going to see all these buildings basically out in the nowhere and the dirt and rubble everywhere around them. Now, many of these were said to be the result of colonialism. On tops of these buildings, in many photos, you'll see those same type lighting rods, you'll see the similar cathedrals, and even buildings like these which are still standing sometimes. Now, check this out. And then check this out. You see the lighting rods are missing. And there's many other buildings that are still round in Madagascar, but I want you to check this last photo and then check the next one. And you can see that the bottom windows are now obscured. Now, in a lot of old artwork, you'll see these pictures and paintings of people, of what looks like a laptop or a cell phone and other devices. And some people will say that this might be proof of time travel. Obviously, there were no cell phone in these days, but if somebody had traveled back, it would make sense. But, it's a mostly wild story, with unsupported claims. Now, let's travel back in time, and take a look at Auburn, California, in the 1800s. Now, Auburn, what's a beautiful town, with similar post office, and a similar city hall to many of the other cities in California and across the United States. And as you look at these pictures, you can see, mostly the area was underdeveloped, and the buildings look a little bit old. So, what I'm trying to say here is that the previous reset really happened and that all this modern stuff was already around before it. What do you think? Did you know about Antikythera Mechanism? The Antikythera Mechanism is an ancient Greek analog computer that was discovered in 1901 by a group of English archaeologists exploring the Antikythera shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera. The shipwreck is believed to have occurred in the 1st century BC, and the mechanism itself is estimated to have been built around the same time. 
The mechanism was found in a wooden box along with a number of other artifacts, including bronze and marble statues. At first, the archaeologists believed the device to be a simple navigational instrument, but upon closer inspection, they realized that it was far more complex than they had initially thought. The Antikythera mechanism is approximately the size of a shoebox and is made up of a series of interlocking gears and displays. The device is thought to have been operated using a hand crank, and according to the mainstream experts, it was designed to predict astronomical positions and eclipses for calendrical and astrological purposes. The mechanism contains at least 30 bronze gears, each of which was carefully crafted with a high degree of precision. Some of the gears are as small as a fingernail and have more than 200 teeth. The gears are arranged in a complex system. The Antikythera mechanism is believed to have been constructed by a team of skilled craftsmen who used a variety of techniques to create the intricate components of the device. The craftsmen would have had to cast the gears in bronze, polish them to a high shine, and then carefully assemble them into the mechanism. The device is also thought to have had a number of pointers and displays that would have allowed users to track the movements of the celestial bodies. The front of the device would have featured a display showing the positions of the sun, moon, and stars, while the back would have displayed a calendar and various astronomical cycles. It is believed that the Antikythera mechanism would have been used by the ancient Greeks for at least a century before it was lost at sea. Since its discovery, the Antikythera mechanism has been studied extensively by scientists and historians. In the early 20th century, the mechanism was the subject of intense debate, with some scholars suggesting that it was a forgery or a hoax. However, as more research has been done on the device, it has become clear that the Antikythera mechanism is a genuine artifact of ancient Greek technology. However, do you believe that the tool was designed for astrological purposes only? What do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.